What's up subscribers? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to be talking about some updates regarding Lee Auto, trading under the ticker LI. We'll be taking a look at some recent news that has come out about Lee Auto and also taking a look at their stock chart. But first, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe so that you get notifications about our future videos talking about the stock market and personal finances. And while you're down there, be sure to check out the links in the description to get your free shares of stock from Robinhood and Webull if you have it already. So grab a cup of coffee or your favorite beverage of choice and let's jump into it. Since the last time that we talked about Lee Auto here on this channel, we have seen some massive movement in the share price, up around 25% in that time frame. And as of the time that I'm recording this video, Lee Auto is currently trading for around $36 per share, with a market capitalization of around $31 billion. This huge upward move comes off of upgrades by multiple analysts. Bank of America analyst Ming Sun Lee expects significant growth in Lee Auto's future, coming out with a price target of $42 per share and expecting to see sales grow by 48% per year from now until 2025. Lee went on to state that he expects Lee Auto to launch one new model per year from 2022 until 2024, expanding its lineup to cover both the full-size and compact premium SUV segments. In addition to that, Credit Suisse analyst Ben Wang upgraded his performance for Lee Auto from neutral to outperform with a price target of $40 per share. Wang went on to state that Lee Auto's deliveries in December were up 32% month over month to a new high of just over 6,100 units, and that management stated that orders continued to increase in early January despite the introduction of Tesla's Model Y in China. Taking a look at Lee Auto's stock chart, they still do have quite a way to go to get back to their 52-week high of around $47 per share. From a technical perspective, Lee appears to have some strong resistance at around $37 per share, so I wouldn't be surprised if we see the shares continue to trade at around $35 to $37 per share until we get some more news that can help to break past that resistance, which, in my opinion, may come when Lee reports their next quarterly earnings. Regardless of what happens to the share price in the short term, however, in the long term, I continue to remain extremely optimistic and bullish with Lee Auto. As we already mentioned, Lee Auto's deliveries in December were up significantly, about 32% month over month. But year over year, it's even more impressive up about 530%. And I believe that as EV becomes more mainstream and continues to take market share, Lee's deliveries are going to skyrocket even further. With so much opportunity ahead of it and the EV market continuing to grow, I believe that conservatively, Lee Auto share price could be well above $100 per share within the next couple years. But with all of that being said, like with every company, there are always risks to any potential investment. And I believe that one of the biggest risks with an investment in Li Auto and any other Chinese EV company is the uncertainty that comes with the Chinese government. Like we just saw recently with Jack Ma and Alibaba, for example, conflict with the Chinese government can impact a company's valuation significantly. And when investing in any Chinese company, that risk is always going to be on the table. With that said, however, I still feel comfortable investing in Chinese EV companies such as Li Auto as well as NIO and Xpeng. Due to the significant pollution in China, as well as their growing population size, the Chinese government has already made it well known that they are committed to renewable and sustainable energy. So with that said, I believe that the Chinese government poses less of a risk to investments in EV companies than they do to tech companies such as Alibaba and Ant Financial. But still, I will always consider this risk whenever I'm deciding how much capital to put into my investments. What are your thoughts on Li Auto? Are you invested in this company? Are you considering investing in this company? Or do you think that there are other EV companies that offer a better opportunity? Where do you see the share price going over the short term and the long term? Be sure to comment down below and let me know what you think. And while you're down there, if there are any other stocks or topics that you would like me to talk about in a future video, please feel free to comment that down below as well. As a reminder, this video is for entertainment purposes only. I am not a certified financial planner. I'm a resident physician with an interest in personal finances and investing. Please make sure you're doing your own research before you make any financial decisions. And please be sure to smash that like button and click on the subscribe button for the YouTube algorithm and to help support my channel. Thanks everyone. Have a great day.